Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 3C of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page number 81 and the question is 9. It reads, a particle is projected with speed 20 root 10 meters per second at an angle tan inverse one third to an inclined plane, which makes an angle 45 degrees with the horizontal. Find its speed when it is travelling parallel to the inclined plane. So the first thing I'm supposed to do is to sketch the motion and then we'll discuss the kind of conditions that we require. So this is a our x and y axes creating our xy plane. Then of course we create our inclined plane which we call the x prime axis. We create our y prime axis perpendicular to that. We define our unit vectors parallel to the x prime y prime axis. That's i hat, that's j hat. Then we, we uh, project our, par our, our particle like so we call, I'm going to call this angle half, uh, this angle here, beta. Now, <clears throat> we got to remember as well that we're after rotating the axes, so the x, y axis no longer exists for the, for the analysis. Once we've, of course, we've resolved the velocity and gravity vectors, we no, no longer need to even uh, pretend that it's there, because it isn't there. So the question is, when does the, uh, when is the particle travelling parallel to the, uh, the inclined plane. So it says find its speed when it's travelling parallel to the inclined plane. So when we have a velocity vector, which I'll draw in red, like so. Now look at that, that's a vector, okay, uh, compared with the, the initial velocity vector. The initial velocity vector u lives in both the i hat and j hat unit vector direction, so it is a resultant vector. However, this one isn't. This lives solely in the x prime direction or the i-hat unit vector direction. So the answer basically is to find out the time when v sub y is equal to zero. Because there is no component in the uh, in the, the i-hat or the j-hat unit vector direction. Alright, so the first thing we need to do of course is resolve our vector and uh, we've done this a million times so we'll just, we'll just pick this up a small bit. So we're given that the uh, it's incline, it's, we'll say alpha is tan inverse a third. Is it a third? It is, so this is root 10. So for alpha, the, the cosine is three over, root, uh, 3 over root 10, and the sine is 1 over root 10. All right, so the next thing we need to do is, is do the exact same thing for, for the 45 degrees down here, beta. But beta is 45 degrees, so the cos and sine are 1 over root 2 for both of those. So let's just resolve u is equal to u sub x i hat plus u sub y, uh, yeah, that's right, j hat. u is equal to 20 root 10 times the cos of alpha i hat plus 20 root 10 times the sine of alpha j hat. u is equal to 20 root 10 times the cos of alpha, which is 3 over root 10 i hat plus 20 root 10 times the sine of alpha which is 1 over root 10 j. So let's just do a bit of a cancelling here, we cancel those, we cancel those, and we get that u, the velocity vector, the initial velocity vector, is equal to 60 i hat plus 20 j hat. Alright, that's pretty good. The next thing and final thing we need to resolve is the gravity vector. Now we know, of course, that the gravity vector does not act in one uh, in, a, in a single direction in the x prime y prime plane. Okay, so it acts in the negative y in the x y plane, but it, it acts in both the both dimensions in the x prime y prime plane. So to resolve it, we go perpendicular, excuse me, parallel to the y prime, and then parallel to the x prime. It needs to be in this direction in order for those two vectors to add together to create the vector g. We know this vector here, or this angle here, is also beta, for reasons we've discussed about in the past, in that this uh, bisects the x prime axis at a right angle. So therefore, g is equal to g sub x i hat plus g sub y j hat, where this is g sub x, this here is g sub y. So we get g is equal to g times the sine of 45 i hat plus g times the cos of 45 j hat. Because 
g sub x is opposite the angle beta, so that's sine. So we get g over root 2 i hat plus g over root 2 g hat because the sine and cosine of 45 degrees are the same. So it's now time to uh, it's now time to do UVAST. So let's rub out this just for clarity. So we have the x prime, the y prime. All right. So plug in what we know. We know this is 60. This is 20. This is g over root 2. And this is also g over root 2. Now, of course, if you looked a moment ago, both of those uh, had to be negative because they're going in the opposite direction to the unit vectors, and they are because g is a negative number. So we need to find the time when v sub y is equal to 0. So v sub y is equal to u plus at. So v sub y is equal to 0 is equal to 20 plus g of root 2 times t. And therefore t is equal to minus 20 root 2 over g. And that's equal to, of course, that's a positive number. Because g is a negative number and two negatives make a positive. So 20 root 2 divided by oh, 21 or 20 root 2 divided by 9.81 gives an answer of 2.88. So you know that two, after 2.88 seconds, the particle no longer has a component in the, um, in the j hat unit vector direction for its velocity. Now, by the way, if you're, if you're switched on, you might also realize that this is the, the exact same condition for maximum height, uh, which makes sense, of course, because v sub y is equal to zero. So the next thing we need to do is look at the question and find out exactly what we're being asked. We're asked to find the speed when traveling parallel to the inclined plane. So you know that v sub y is equal to zero, so let's find out v sub x. All right, so v sub x, u plus g over root 2 times t, so that's 60 plus 9.81 over root 2 times 2.88. All right, so just going to very, very quickly do this because I'm actually running out of battery on my camera. Just one moment now. I'm very nearly there. That's 40. So when you do the magnitude of, uh, of the vector, you're going to find that the, the magnitude of the vector v will be equal to 40 meters per second. All right, because it's got no component in the j-hat unit vector direction. Okay, thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.